Shut up and sit down. Hey, whippersnappers, it's the geezer here. Long time no see. Hey, I thought I would do a little video in Neverwinter about how to claim your com first companion. You can get a companion right away, a pretty good one, if you link your PSN account with your ARC Games account. So I recommend doing that because you'll get this Renegade Illusionist companion. But to claim him, you need to go to a certain vendor and that might not be immediately apparent. So I thought I would show you how to do that and where to do that um, and then how to, how to activate him, equip him, basically summon him. Um, so you have a companion right away because if you don't use this companion or don't link your account and get this companion, then you'll have to wait a while until like, I forget what level it is. 10 or something before you can get your first companion so it's a pretty good idea to get this guy first um, it'll at least make make your game playing a little bit easier not that Neverwinter really needs it it's pretty easy um, in the beginning anyway but I like having a companion so I thought I'd show you how to do this okay so I just made a new character he's a wood elf ranger I just got out of the tutorial um, and it put me into Protector's Enclave, the main city. Now, you might be tempted to first go talk to Sergeant Knox, like that's what it says your quest is to do right now and complete this first quest. But I recommend go get your companion first. And you want to do that because you want your companion to get XP when you do so that um, your companion levels up quickly because they can level up as you gain XP also Um and the, the higher level they are, the more um, damage they do and things like that. So it's a good idea to get them as soon as you can and um, have them summoned when you want them to get XP. So I recommend getting them before you turn in any quests or make sure you have the one summoned that you want to get the XP when you turn in quests. So I'm going to show you how to do that. When you first come out of the tutorial you're right here in protectors enclave right near sergeant knox sergeant knox is right up ahead there on the right but let me show you on the map if you hold down the left and i'm on the ps4 this might be a little different for other people but to view your map in the ps4 hold down the l1 and press the up button and it shows you a map and where you are is right here this little arrow with the sort of blue um blue what is that blue point shows which way you're facing okay and sergeant knox is right here it says talk to sergeant knox and where you want to go to pick up to get your companion is right over here see that little present that's the reward claims agent that's who you want to go to um you could click this to set a waypoint but you don't really need to i'll show you it's pretty easy so currently the waypoint is set to sergeant knox who's right here so that's Sergeant Knox right there. And then the reward claims agent is right, sort of, sort of uh, Sergeant Knox is facing the direction you wanna go. And you wanna go through this little archway tunnel. <clears throat> and the claims agent is on the other side over here. And right here, reward claims agent. I think they normally have a present over their head, but it looks like the display thing is not... Oh, it's... See, it's down there. There's a bug going on right now with the display of things. See that box in his crotch? <laughs> that present floating down there? <laughs> That's normally over his head. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice bug. All right. Talk to that guy. And then... You can get these other things right here if you want the Onyx outfit or the this um, Neverwinter's Champion of the North supplies. I'm not going to bother with those. I will just show you. See, it sells L1 and or L2 and R2 up there. Those tabs. So you switch tabs to promo. So make sure you've linked you linked your PSN account and your Arc Games account, and then you will have this available. So you'll select that. Now I have it, so you can exit out of here. 
Then go into your inventory, and on the PS4 you hold down L1 and press the left button. And now you'll see, here's the Renegade Illusionist. So you hit Options, and Bind, if you want to use him as a companion. You don't have to, you could sell him, somebody might buy him um, on the... Um, what is it called? The market thing. Yeah, you can sell, you can buy and sell stuff from other players. Um, but I recommend using him because he's pretty good. And then you can give him a name. Um, let's just make it quick. I'll just name him Bob. I suggest something cooler, but that'll do for now. So now he's bound to us. Now you can go out of here and go to companions under character and there he is so he's not summoned currently you just hit the X button to summon him but let me show you see he says he's controller rank 1 he can go up to level that's the rank is the is the level he can go up to level 25 and companions come in different qualities um, he's like the second level of quality so his box is green and his um, controller rank 1 is green and they go up much higher than that. And that basically dictates um, how strong they can get, how many powers they will have. Like these, see these powers down here? He's got these two, Phantom Bolt and Mirror Image. And when he reaches 20, he'll get this Expert Controller one, but he won't be able to get to Haunting Illusions or Master Controller because he can only go to, to rank or level 25. And these are, this one unlocks at 30 and this one unlocks at 35. So if you get better quality con um, companions, they can uh, unlock their strongest abilities. All right, so let's summon this guy. Press X on the PS4 controller. And now see the checkbox says, check mark says summoned under there, under his name under there. And if you go back out, you'll see that there he is. He's with us now. So we, he will fight by our side. So now we'll go back over to Sergeant Knox and turn in that quest from the tutorial and so Bob our faithful companion will also get XP Protectors on by turning that stuff in let's go claim this just because we get our little longbow because I'm a ranger now let's go back to look at our companion Oh, he did not get that XP. Interesting. Well, maybe because it's that first tutorial or that tutorial quest. All right, my bad there. Anyway, I still think it's a good idea to have him right from the beginning, but I guess you don't have to have him right before you get um, your first quest from Sergeant Knox. Oh, maybe you do. Here's the EXP from that. Yeah, I miss I miss misspoke. So let's see. He should have. He should have 5 XP now. He does. Okay. It's not very much. He needs 125 to go up to second level, second rank. But, um, that's a, it's a little something, right? Sure. So then we can run over here and do this second little thing. And get some little clothes. Hello, adventure. I heard about what happened. Like that. I don't think any of this will give me enough to um, to level him up yet. No. Let's see what we get for Mr. from Mr. Knox. And yeah, it's only twenty. Not enough. The next one would be enough. The next quest we complete would be enough to level him up. Yeah, he's got 25 and he's 100 to go. Okay, um, that's going to be it. I just wanted to give you this tip about getting your companion and showing you how to pick that guy up because it's not immediately obvious um, <clears throat> if you're new to the game. But I do recommend you pick him up right away before you go do that one big quest from Nox because if you don't, you'll be missing out a little bit on a little bit of XP for him leveling him up. Um, all right, that's going to be it for now. I think uh, I'll do another tip video 
soon to show everybody where the bank is. Did you know there's a bank? There's a bank uh, where you can store stuff. Um, and they don't tell you about that in the tutorial or at any time, I don't think. Anyway, that's it for now, and I will talk to you later, snappers.